This session is called The Inner Psychology of Making Money. And I want to start off with the insight that the thing that makes humans different is our minds. Okay, the things that really differentiates us is our minds. And in order to create successful results on the outside, like money, for example, you must create successful results on the inside first. You'll only succeed with money if you succeed on the inside first, starting with your mind. Stephen Covey has a quote that I love. He says, every public victory is preceded by a private victory. T. Harv Eker, who wrote Secrets of the Millionaire Mind and uh, who I consider to be a real expert on the inner game of success with money, he says that when you get the inner game handled, you get the physical inner game, the emotional inner game, the logical inner game, the spiritual inner game, all the stuff on the inside, when you get that handled, that money is the result, almost like programming a computer. Uh, and then when you print out what you did with a printer, the printout is like the money. Okay, So making money is a result of the stuff that you do on the inside. And in this session, we're going to talk about the inner psychology of making money. I also want to recommend that you stop trying to figure out the scheme game. People who focus on trying to find a scheme for making fast money never do. And worse, any money that they do get is lost quickly, and they typically wind up worse off financially and uh, worse off for time wasted and opportunity that could have been directed uh, well wasted in addition. I remember when uh, I was what I consider to be very poor now. I, I grew up in Oregon, literally out in the woods. My first job was uh, doing manual labor for, you know, anywhere between, I think, $4 or so is where I started per hour, and I maxed out at about $10 per hour. And I remember all the things that I thought about to try to make more money, and most of them could be summed up as some kind of scheme one way or another. And after doing that for a long time and reading about business opportunities and pyramid schemes and, uh, you know, all these too-good-to-be-true networking uh, businesses, I started to realize that all of these things had something in common, right? There was always some kind of trick that it sounded like you could do so that money would immediately pour into your bank account and you'd never have to think about it again, right? That was the promise that was being sold. I remember... Uh, one money-making scheme that uh, that was, uh, you know, it was an ad that was run in classified papers where it said, you know, if you'd like to learn how to make uh, $1,000 a week in your mailbox, just send $5 and a self-addressed envelope to this address and you'll get back the instructions on how to do it. And you put your 5 bucks in the envelope and you send it and what you get back is a piece of paper that says, run ads in classified uh, papers that says, learn how to get $1,000 a week in the mail, send a self-addressed envelope in five bucks, right? And it was truly just a, a scam. And the more I dug into uh, most of these various quick ways to make cash, the more I realized that um, all of them in one way or another um, really amounted to that same same kind of thing. And also, uh, another, you know, example of how, you know, a lot of times our mind screws us up and keeps us from ever figuring out how to become successful is we're always figuring out how to get something. Uh, I don't know if you ever thought of this one, but I remember early on I had the insight, you know, there are 300 million people in America here where I live. If I could just figure out how to get a million of them to each give me one dollar, I'd have a million dollars. And it's only a dollar each for those people. And I learned later that that's, uh, it's good logical reasoning, uh, but it's not something that will actually result in you creating any kind of financial success or independence. Bottom line, stop trying to figure out the scheme game. It doesn't work. And if it does work, the money that you get will probably be lost quickly because you don't know how to earn and keep money in the first place. I actually have a friend who, uh, is very wealthy, self-made, re reported to be, rumored to be, 100 millionaire. And he said, it's harder to keep money and it's harder to grow money than it is to earn it in the first place. 
And uh, so we have to learn lessons about how to keep money and how to grow it along with earning it or else we'll just lose it. Next, a bad map equals a bad trip. So let's say you're going on a journey somewhere or on a vacation. If you've got a a map that's 50% accurate and 50% inaccurate, you're not only going to not arrive where you want to go, but it's going to be really frustrating too, okay? because it's going to be part right and part wrong. Most people have a map about how to make money that's about 50% right and 50% wrong. This is my experience. And just like playing a slot machine is exciting and frustrating because you're always so close you can taste it, having a bad money map will literally drive you nuts. Okay, now the idea here is that in our minds, we don't operate directly on reality. Each of us has a map of how we think reality works, who we think we are, who we think other people are, and what we think the rules are. And we kind of refer to this inner map whenever we're going out into the world to do something. Now, in this program, we're talking about making money. And it's particularly important to realize that the, the money map that most of us got is just plain wrong. Now, we don't have time to dig into the deep psychology of how we got bad money maps and so forth. Um, if you want to do that, you'll have to check out my self-made wealth program uh, because we go in depth in that program. Uh, but it will suffice for you to realize that if you've got the wrong map and it's part right and part wrong, that you're going to be so close you can taste it, but it's really going to drive you nuts. So what we need to do is we need to fix the map first. Okay, First, we need to correct a few things inside your money map, and then we can learn specifics of how to actually make money. The amazing thing about being human is that we can change our results by just changing how we think. Okay, In other words, putting a different map in place. Changing how we think is necessary to change our actions and our results, so we will start there.